in terms of what was being predicted. Uh, some of the, the worst case scenarios did not come to pass. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis grateful that Hurricane Milton did not leave behind the damage that many had feared. However, there's still no shortage of cleanup today for many people in Florida. In addition to the flooding along the Gulf Coast, the hurricane also spun up more than a dozen tornadoes along the Atlantic coast. The volunteer group, the Cajun Navy, captured this video of a tornado popping up on a road, breaking some transmitters. They then captured video right along the same road helping a man who was stuck in a truck that overturned. There's also crazy video on of Tampa where yeah. the roof was destroyed at Tropicana Field where the Tampa Bay Rays baseball team plays. The dome was supposed to be a safe haven for people in the area. As the cleanup plays out over these next few weeks, folks from Minnesota and North Dakota will be down there helping both in Florida and in places impacted by Hurricane Helene. Valley News Team's Quinn Gorham explains. This is an enormous undertaking. I'm a veteran of both uh, Sandy and Harvey, and uh, this is going to be like both of those put together. Widespread destruction from not just one, but two hurricanes in the U.S. Southeast. Organizations from across the nation have mobilized to put boots on the ground and lend a helping hand, including some right here in the Midwest. We've dispatched over 100 people from our Minnesota and Dakota's region to uh, a, ver a variety of places. The American Red Cross is helping to provide resources to those impacted. Ground teams are working to provide food, shelter, and damage assessments. But that's not all they're offering. We do uh, things like take care of people's uh, medical needs, uh, replace prescriptions, and then also uh, we have a large component that, that works on the, on the mental health side. Also on the ground is the Minnesota National Guard. Governor Tim Walz mobilized Duluth's 148th Fighter Wing ahead of Hurricane Milton's arrival. The team of 13 airmen was en route to a base in Florida on Thursday to provide specialized aid. We are trained in Sea Bernie, which is chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and highly yield explosives. Um, and so should, we, should the need arise, we are trained to operate in that kind of an environment. While groups like the Red Cross usually provide aid for a few weeks, the National Guard is there until they're no longer needed. We'll just we'll just be mission to mission, day to day, helping as much as we can. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. Now, our parent company, Gray Media, is teaming up with the Salvation Army for hurricane relief efforts. If you'd like to give, scan the QR code on your screen or head to valleynewslive.com and click the link right on our homepage.